You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm excited to bring you Wonka's Magical Chocolate Factory. I get to make more Wonka chocolates, and it's kind of like a comparison to the set we already have in the channel, which I did. This is uh, based off of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the movie that came out in 2005, and it requires eight AA batteries, so quite a few batteries. It includes 16 different chocolate molds. What I think they want to say is it includes four molds with 16 different chocolate shapes because that's what caught my attention. Now look at the tabletop. You will see there are tons of chocolate all laid out. Uh, they have been really going nuts here. And uh, the kids actually look surprisingly happy. What I'm trying to figure out is how they have no chocolate on them. With making all that chocolate, she's got a bright yellow shirt. She should be covered in chocolate because that's uh, the fun part of working with chocolate, getting on your hands, and it's all over the place. So let's check out the rest of the box. So that is what the, the set looks like, and there are the four molds. And then let's see what the back is like. There is the back, and this uh, gives you your basic steps. Easy. Just pour in chocolate chips, turn to fill candy molds, make your own chocolate in minutes. And this is everything that's included. And again, this is... Uh, from around 2005, there's no year anywhere that I can find on the box. So let me uh, get all the parts out, and we'll get in here. And this one you can still find if you're looking, if you want to try to find it. You can find this one on eBay. And then here are the pieces and the parts. Let's stand this cool factory up. Look at that, pretty neat. So here's what we have. Let me get the cardboard out of the way. There's the four molds. There's my tools. And then this goes up and down. This turns. Not sure where the on-off switch is yet, but I will figure that out. So let me get everything out of the plastic, wash what I need to wash, and then we'll get started with this Charlie and the Chocolate Factory set. Well, here we are. I'm all set and excited to get started on the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory set. But of course, first, I had to wash everything. Everything down here, I wash in hot soapy water. And then this I also did wash. And then I use a like a dish towel to clean out this section here because that is also touched by the chocolate. The rest can't be put in water, so you have to be careful with that. The instructions, I will move off to the side. And then let's get to the pieces here. This is the lollipop sticks, and these go in the molds, and they uh, are part of the set. So you kind of get six of them in the set, and you put them in there and then pour your chocolate, and then you have the lollipops. So we'll move those off, but they kind of twist it and look like candy canes and then we have two tools here one is a scraper and one is a measuring cup so we will move those off to the side and let's take a look at the molds so there's four molds 16 shapes here let's see if we can get a little better perspective on them how's that so what i see is a wonka hat a wonka W there in a candy shape, a lollipop here, and then a square lollipop. Then up here I see a butterfly, and then a candy twist, another lollipop, and another just candy shape. Here's what the backs look like on those two. They're still a little wet, so I'll have to dry them a little bit better. And then this one here is a round lollipop, a pumpkin, a mushroom, and then just a round candy, but it almost looks like a smile with two eyes and a mouth, but I'm not sure that's exactly what they were going for there. And the last one looks like a type of Hershey Kiss shape, another uh, lollipop, an ice cream cone, and then another lollipop. So that's what that one looks like. So those are the backs. Kind of get an idea looking at that. All right, so you see what we're going for here. I'll move those out of the way. And these actually end up going in this section. And they sit in there real nice. I'll show you that. Get in here. So the actual system itself is the uh, main unit which turns. This turns so you can dispense your chocolate into that section. So it looks like it's dispensing in the back. 
And then, uh, what else? Oh, the on-off switch is right here. This turns. And that'll turn a light on here. So I have not put the batteries in. I haven't even looked at it yet. So uh, let me uh, grab one of my tools here, and then we'll uh, put the batteries in. All right, I've been using my letter opener, because it works really well. And it's handy, so I don't have to go look for my screwdriver set. And it's not a knife. Everybody who thinks it's a knife, it's not a knife. I think I used it in a video once, and someone reprimanded me. You should not use knives in front of children. Okay, that's a massive battery compartment, so I have all fresh, brand new batteries. Well, I hope it heats up pretty good with all these batteries. Now, usually, the ones like this have D, D batteries. I've never seen them with all A, like this double A. Let's just see if we have light. It's hard to see. No light just yet. Let's make sure we got them in all the right way. Let's see. Yes, yes. Sometimes you got to put the lid back on. Yes. Okay. That's strange. That's a double there. So let's just put it back together. And worry about it later. See how nice that tool works? Okay, so let's check it out one more time. And what I will do is uh, just show you the unit itself and all the different sides. So it says Charlie and the Chocolate Factory here. And there is the side. Well, let's put this piece back in. It's like a dome, right? The glass dome. I don't think that's what they're exactly going for. So there's the other side. You saw the bottom. All right, so what I need to do now is get reset up, get my chocolate in here, and then we'll get started making the chocolates. Okay, I am all set. As you can see, my light is on now. So when I put the cover back on and just turn this a few times, the red light came back on. So let's go over the chips I'm going to be using. Now, you've seen these wafer discs. They're called the candy wafers. I have vanilla, which we're calling white chocolate, and then regular chocolate. And then I also have some regular chocolate chips. Now, in the past, I've had, you know, okay luck with those because they don't set up like a lot of chocolates do. So that's the chip I have. It's a Nestle Toll House, and that's a huge bag, a 72-ounce bag. But we'll try it with those, because the instructions, let's go over those. I always like to show you the instructions. Maybe you have this kit without the instructions. So there's everything I've shown you already. There's the battery information. And then here's the steps. So it said the chamber fits about 40 chocolate chips. So I'm using that as a measurement or a guide for the wafers because the wafers all break up a little bit in this unit. So here's what we do. Turn the unit on for eight minutes and it hasn't been on that long. And then place the desired mold onto the rotating tray. Uh, wait an extra through. Oh, step two. Remove plunger and fill melting chamber with chocolate chips using the spoon included. The melting chamber can fit 40 chips. Gently put the plunger back into the top of the melting chamber. And then place the desired mold onto the rotating tray. Wait an extra three minutes approximately for melting chocolate. So leave it on for eight minutes, put the chips in there, and wait another three minutes. So you have 12 minutes there. Gently push the plunger down inside the melting tube. Now we've used these kinds of plunger systems before. So you can't go super fast with these. And when you have filled the chocolate mold, put it in the refrigerator for five to ten minutes. This will freeze up the chocolate, okay? And how to clean. Helpful tips and hints. Now we have fresh batteries, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. See, screws may not be properly tightened on melting tube as noted in the how to clean section. So there's little tidbits there. So we'll assume now that everything's ready to go. But I have to let this run for a little while and heat up. So I'm going to come back and show you a couple little items we have 
uh, that you might uh, like to see in this video. Well, here's the two toys I wanted to show you. I will show you the one on the left first. This one here is pretty neat. I'll show you that one second. So what this does is, uh, well, let me show you the back. It looks like a little factory. It says uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory on it. And you're pulling down this lever, and it's sort of like a spring-loaded little timer in there. And this is going to go up, and I need to slide this left or right to get into the position to be in the top winner spot. So let me just give you a quick... Uh, show you how this works now if it's riding in the center of two sections it should get to the next section watch okay and then it got stuck here so I wasn't actually trying to play it so let me just uh, do that now there you go Ooh. oh Ooh, got it Ooh. Halfway. Okay, pretty neat. See, that's uh, that could be fun, right? For a little while. But on its little scenes of uh, little scenes from the movie, so that's what's cool about it. Now this next one here looks like a camera, and of course, again, looking like the factory. And you're pressing this down, and inside it's showing you different pictures. Let me show you the front again. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, but. What I have to do now to show you this is to actually get a flashlight and put it from this direction and then I'll hold this up to the camera so you can see through that. So let me get that set up and show you how that works. Okay, you're now looking inside of this. This is the boat and they're in the back. It's hard to show you everything so I'm just going to do my best here. And then this is like a screenshot for like a poster of the movie. And uh, there is the golden ticket. See the golden ticket? And what scene is this? Hard to tell. There he is. Camera doesn't want to completely focus. And then that's like a black and white. And ooh, this one's hard. Ooh, that's a, the Oompa Loompa standing on a ladder, it looks like. And then there's back to the boat. All right, I think uh, you've seen it the best I could show it to you, so let me go back to the set. Here we go, I am all set now. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, look into a couple unique uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory items. So the chips we've gone over, but I did have to come up with a calculation so that I can understand the chips to wafers. Now it was about 40 chips, I weighed them on a scale, because that's what it said it should fit in there. And then that equals about eight of the wafers, so now I know. So I'll probably start with the ch uh, 40 chips and see how that goes. So let's do that. I got other chocolate off to the side. And then uh, we'll see what we get out of the 40 and what it actually does uh, make in regards to the one, the first mold. So not much in there, just an open tube. So we'll just stick them in there. And then you're supposed to wait another two minutes. Uh, while with the plunger set on top of it so that was 40 okay so now I'm gonna set this on here and just kinda let it gently sit and then we will just uh, go from there and wait so I'm gonna wait another two minutes and then we'll uh, start making our chocolate okay it's been about two minutes and as you can see it's starting to come out on its own and then uh, and it's at the back so let me turn this around here because it might be easier to see inside from the back so I'm gonna just gently press to see if it is melting enough to start the process I'd like to a little bit more but let's just uh, check out this first mold yeah I'm gonna let this sit just a little bit longer it is coming out but I don't think it's hot enough just yet or melted enough so I'm gonna let me see looking inside now maybe I can get this first mold out sometimes the they do get stuck on chips. We've had that happen before. Ooh, that's a that plumped out. Let me take my little tool. See, maybe that's what that little tool is for. Helps get that out. I'll just spread that particular mold. And then that was one set of chips. Let me just flip it back around. 
But now I would want to turn this. And me personally, you know, based on the... I forgot there was a little wheel there. Based on the other ones, I think I'll tap that one down now. There you go. I got to eat this here. Tasty. Those are good chips. Let me stick this back on. Let me go to the hat. And uh, I'll do this one from the front now. I'm going to add more chips because the more we go here, the hotter this thing is going to get. So it should pick up its pick up its speed. So I'll add more in. If you're looking for fast candy making, this is not the way to go. Okay, this is a slower process, and you just kind of Try to have fun as you're doing it. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to stop there. Get my cutter tool. I'll turn it around. It seems to be easier to work from the back, the way this was designed. There we go. Spread it around a little. Okay. So we're almost done with this first mold. I do like this spinning feature. I'm going to hold off on the, the the lollipop until this is further along. So All right. I wonder if I could reach from here and I don't have to turn the machine around. There you go. Oh, that is a lollipop. Okay, so I guess we're going to be making a lollipop. But I'm going to put in the stick after. Well, let me try one before. Well, let me do this. Let me just put it in here. Because after this, I can't. There we go. And then I'll just spread it on the top. I'm going to tap this all down once I do this again. Now I can do this last one here. Now they said put it in before, so... I will follow the instructions. Ooh, that one clipped in really nice. Here we go. Got to see way back in there. How's that? See, now it's heating up pretty good. All right. Get a little bit more in this one. Okay, happy with that. All right, so I'm going to pull this out now, back this up, tap it all down. Definitely not as good as the melter. After now that I've experienced the, the m and &E melter that you've seen in other videos, I'm hooked on that one in regards to candy melters trying to get some of those air bubbles out okay so let's try now some of the melts you can still see some little pieces of chocolate chip in there and I'm not sure if it went behind the uh, lollipop stick on that one because I think putting it in first then putting the stick on and adding a little chocolate will for sure seal that in there so they move that off to the side I'm gonna put some of the wafer in there and I did uh, what I ended up doing was I just broke it up into little pieces now I know my weight again I measured that out and I have a scale in grams so I know exactly how much chocolate each time Okay, so I put some more in on the top. And we'll slip this one in. And we will go for it. Let's see which one I want to do. I think I will do that candy piece in the back. Let me go for it. Now there's still other chocolate in there, so that's going to 
come out first. Okay. You're definitely more hands-on here in regards to the molds and trying to work in this little area. All right. I think what I'll do is I'll touch them up. I'll try to fill them all and then come back and touch them up a little bit. Okay. That worked out pretty good. I wonder if we hit the, the melts on that. Here, let me, let me change my angle here and show you what's going on up here. Because it is interesting to see. So here's the chocolate in the container here. And I'm just, uh, I just keep filling it up. And I can tell now by looking at the chocolate in the first one, I've gone into the melts. So I'm wondering if the melts seem to work better. So let's come back down. There you go. I think that's going to be enough. Until I get this out, I won't know for sure, but it looks pretty close. And let's uh, do this one. After this, probably what I'll do is I'll switch, I'll clean this out, I'll switch to the white, and do the last two molds in white, so we have two different chocolates. All right. And then the last one is a lolly, lollipop. I think what I'm going to do is what I suggested, just put a little bit in there. Ooh, now it's coming out really good. So it does take a while to heat up. Let's see, that might be enough. Let me, uh... Take this out. Okay. And let me get this one on this. I just kind of twisted that last one in there and made it go in there real nice. All right. And you can see the two color chocolate differences. Take a little bit out of that one. Put it in that one. Okay, and I probably can come in here now. I wonder if that's what this tool is for, just to kind of put some in, make it a nice, even chocolate. Okay, I can break that off later. Go all the way up the popsicle or lollipop stick. Okay. As you can see, definitely not as precise when you're using something like this it's going to make more of a more of a mess but we're just going to be eating it not showing it at a chocolate competition so i think we're good all right i'm going to take this one and this one and you can kind of see the difference in chocolate color now and then uh put these in the refrigerator that will give me time to clean up and come back with the white chocolate. All right, so it's all cleaned up. Those two molds are in the refrigerator. I kind of scraped them up and cleaned them up a little bit. And now this inside section is missing the tube part. So this is what you have to clean. It's two screws on the top. And when this comes out, it uh, is easier to clean. Then you just press it back in, put the screws, you know, turn the screws down. And then turn it on. Ooh, might need this in place. There we go. Now, of course, I have not uh, let it sit now and heat up because I was washing everything. So I'm going to go to a little uh, extra video bonus item here. So let's go to that. This is all set. I have my white chips broken and ready to go. And then we have these last two molds. So while this heats up, I'm going to uh, show you another cool item. Well, here's another commercial break for a little swag item for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is from a Wendy's Kids Meal. And it's, uh, it was for the In Theaters Now release. So let's, uh, let's cut this top off. And see what we have. There's the front. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Go Fish Game 42 card deck. Includes two replacement cards. And here is the gameplay. Let's just uh, check out the cards. That would be neat if they all had movie stills, but it's uh, not going to happen. 
Wouldn't that be cool? And then all different movie stills on it. So it's the same card on the front. Let's just check out the backs. Oh, there's my... Oh, look, see? This side. They're tricking me. Now we have something to look at. And uh, check out. Pink Boat. Two, three, four. There's Charlie. So we can scan through those four. There's Willy Wonka. I've had people call me Willy Wonka. Uh, Grandpa Joe. Now, I think uh, Grandpa Joe is looking pretty cool there, huh? Those glasses. The Wonka Golden Ticket. February 1, 10 a.m. sharp. Hey, we're in February. Mike. And here is the Oompa Loompa. I don't know. Something about the orange trace Oompa Loompas and the green hair. You gotta love it. And Veruca. The golden ticket with Violet. Oh, that was the picture that was in that other one with Violet. Augustus. No, don't. Very neat. Wonka fans, what do you think? Do you have this deck? Would you like this deck if you collect Wonka stuff? So there you go. That is uh, another little commercial break from Lucky Penny Shop. We'll get back to making chocolate. Okay, I am back, and I've actually pre-put in my white chips, because, you know, after the 8-minute warming, then it's put the chips in and then it's warm again. So while that's doing that, I'm going to show you what I did to actually measure out the chips. Remember, it was 40 chocolate chips, and I didn't know how many discs it took. So I took a scale like this, and I put my bowl on there, and I zeroed it, like it is now, and I added the 40 chips, which came out to about 20 grams. So then, now I took the discs... And these are all connected. Let me get some single discs here. And I knew it was about eight. And that brought me to about 20. So, so eight discs is about 40 chips. And then I took the chips. I'm going to have to do this again anyway. And then I just broke them up. So now I'll make... Three quick batches here while that's still heating up in the back. And this is what I did. And this is how I use the wafers. And for this particular uh, set, you know, it helps to break them up. These are all stuck together, but there's eight. So now I know I can just take eight, which is about what I need. And again, this this is a, you know, this is a set for a six-year-old. So you can let them just do their thing. You don't have to worry about them burning themselves. A lot of people say, well, just go to the stove. You know, I can just melt it right on the stove. Yes, you can. But that's not what this set's for. It's for little kids. You're not going to send a little kid to the stove and, you know, burn themselves trying to make hot molten lava chocolate on their skin. Not cool. This way, they can experiment and pretend that they're making chocolate like Willy Wonka in a little, or make their own little chocolate store. So we get that a lot. A lot of people just don't have that kid spirit understanding of what this is. Sure, it's simple, it's basic, it's not the best working machine in the world, but it's fun. So, there's some in there now, and it's been sitting for me quite a bit of time. So let's just test it. If it's not ready, I'm going to wait, because I like it to be really soft. So let's get, let's get in there. Here we go. There you go. Now this set... The way it's aligned, it just seems to be a little bit off kilter to the actual mold. Not hitting the exact center on all the shapes. Let me put a little bit more in there. Okay. Now I'm going to stop and add more. Okay, I want to do that. So I am up top here, remember? That's what I've been doing. Taking my plunger out. Now there's still some in there and I can push it out. 
but I want to keep adding it so it keeps melting. Then spin this. See, imagine a little kid. And you hear the oompas in the background. Oompa, oompa, oompa dee doo. I've got another riddle for you. What do you get when your chocolate doesn't melt? Okay, put a little bit more in that one. Now, I can't put the stick in that just yet because I want to spin this, right? So I'm going to move here to the next one. Okay, and I'm going to put a few more in the top. Now, I'm not moving the camera back up, so you've seen that process. I'm putting chips in the top, and uh, here we go. Let's see if it's going to keep up with me. It's not as soft as I would like it, but I'm going to get through this one. A little bit of chocolate still in there. I'd say it took me about 10 minutes to, to clean this and wash it. Okay, so I have to let it sit just a little bit longer. I'm going to come back in another minute or two and finish these last two. So we'll check back shortly. Okay, a couple minutes later. Not much has changed, but look how nice it came out that time. It's easier to work on these when they're out, so I'm going to get this the last one done, and then I'll clean them up a little bit. Add more chocolate, and then see if I need more, I'll just add it. So I'm going to pull out from the top. And put more pieces in. I'm adding chocolate. There you go. And then uh, let me just pull this one out. See where we're at on everything here. Okay. Now I did on the uh, the chocolate one. I was able to take this tool, kind of press it, and you know work it a little bit. Not sure how these are gonna fill. So let's see. I think that's what this ultimately what this tool is for. This one might need a little bit, but I gotta get the stick in there. Okay, maybe I can use that. Good. Kind of press it, get it in there real good. And scrape that off there. Okay, so that one's good. And then uh get this last one in here because after this we can see what they look like now, I can tell you now I'm not expecting them to look like the uh, the last Wonka set we did those molds were very detailed I forgot to actually put this in so I'm gonna do this now so this lollipop is set I'm just gonna leave it okay those are off to the side now I should have enough in there we'll see how far we get with this it almost seems like you make one, you should let it sit a few minutes, make one. Okay. Let's go this way. All right. So I am going to, oops, go back to uh, adding just a bit more chocolate. Do you want to see it this time? See the mess I'm making up top? Here, check it out. So this is the, the plunger system. That should be enough to finish the last two. So how was that? It was like three bowls of chips to make them. Or melts. I got that one. Okay. I'm going to come back now in a minute or two, and then we'll finish these last two and wrap this up. Okay, check it right back in. I'm just going to add a little bit to that one. See how much nicer it comes out after it sits. And they're still soft. They haven't set yet. So I've got time. Should be able to get these two done here. 
Ooh, nice. I like when it works like that. Did I ever finish my Oompa Loompa song? Where was I? What do you get when your chocolate doesn't melt? I don't know. Nothing but a big, big mess, I guess. Okay, perfect. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mold out. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it out. There's a little bit of chocolate in there from the chocolates. Yeah, that's good. I think I got enough to scrape and move around now. I don't think I tapped the last one, but I'll do it on this one. So let me get my last stick in. Kind of just work it in. Then I'll take some of the chocolate and move it on to the stem area. Okay. And then I could scrape it if I want. All right. That should just crack off. There we go. So these two, this one's almost setting, will now go into the refrigerator. And when I come back, I'll have everything cleaned up, and we'll see what they look like. Well, here we are, Wonka fans. The Charlie and the Chocolate Factory set works uh, very similar to the other ones that use this kind of, like, melting chamber and battery system. So let's just uh, check them out. Not the prettiest of things, but, you know, the bottom is not what we're worried about. It's the top. So let's just... Uh, Crack them out of the molds and see what we have. Get them in my plate. There's three. And then there is one of the lollipops. So far, so good. Remember now, what we saw on this side doesn't appear to be on this side. So, oh, that one just came right out. That one too, so they pop out real nice. Look at that. So there is the W for the Wonka, a butterfly, the hat, three lollipops so far. And let me get these out. I'm going to have to clean my plate and reset this up, but oh, they come out great. Not struggling at all to get them out of the molds. I could come in here, I brought my little tool, and just uh, clean these up. I wouldn't expect a six-year-old to be doing this. See how nice that'll clean up? So let me just get them all in here, and then I'll come back, clean them up, and give you my, you know, final presentation. Because as they look right now, it looks like a jumbled mess. But in a matter of minutes, well, let me do some for you here. It's a short video, right? Pumpkin. Still works pretty good for this. Although I've got the chocolate from my fingers, so let me get a little towel here. Got one handy. And I'll stick to all the white ones first. So for presentation, it's kind of the steps I go through before I can actually get something to the plate. I do wash and clean and organize a little. Okay. Three more white chocolate ones. Ice cream cone came out pretty good. Needs a little bit of work. That was the mushroom. Also came out pretty good. Okay. The rest is the chocolate ones. Now, the darker chocolate is the chips and already as soon as I touch it my fingers start to melt it that's what I was saying earlier about the the discs to the chips so 
See, they're looking nicer already. Now this was the melting disc and you can see that it is easier to handle. Okay, and the Wonka hat. There. Okay, so now I will I will cut out here, clean this up, and get them all on the plate real nice. But I think I'm going to eat this here. Don't waste the scraps. Well, there you go. It wasn't too hard. About five minutes, got them all just wiped down the plate and clean off the tabletop. I dusted my pumpkin of the chocolate that I had and it came off real easy. There's still a little bit of piece here, pieces here of mixed colors, but, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm going to eat it. So let me zoom in a little bit to the top one so you can kind of get a good idea. Just pause and... You know, enlarge that video, go HD. My favorite, uh, probably this one, the swirling one, then the square one. And then on the shapes below, I put the Wonka hat and the W. You know, those were made with the, the chips, and they're very soft compared to the other ones. The other ones harden up more. So overall, I'm going to say, well, what do I get to eat? What did I say I wanted to eat? I do want to try one of these. I'm going to save the square one. This one here has a little air bubble defect, so I'll eat that one. Cleans right off. Mm. That is good. How could chocolate not be good? It's tasty, plus, you know, I made it, so that makes it even tastier for some reason. Anytime you make something of your own, it seems to be tastier. So overall, on that Wonka set, I'm going to say, pretty successful. Remember, it's for little kids, so... Sure, like I said, you can go all different directions with melting and making chocolate. This is something you can set a little kid in front of and let them have fun, or a big kid like me, and have lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny... Pick it up!